Hey guys, what's going on? Ghost Dragon 1182 here, back for another episode of Coffee Talk. And in this one, we're going to talk about the rise of the Tomb Raider PC port that I started playing last night. And let me first say that, you know, my hardware for my PC, while when I bought everything was really good, um, it is starting to show its age a little bit. And uh, generally, what I do is I look at the specs or the settings that. Uh, the GeForce experience recommends and then I dial it around those like if it thinks that I should run this very high then and it's not something I particularly care about I'll dial that back to run textures higher or something you know like I mess around a little bit to try to get what I want um, always turning motion blur off I hate motion blur I can't fucking stand motion blur so I made a couple adjustments and I figured well I'll see how it goes and how it performs, and if I have to dial some things back, I gotta dial some things back to keep it at 60 frames, and we'll go from there. Uh, all in all, though, when I fired up the game, it ran pretty good. I mean, there was a couple hitches here and there, uh, mainly like big, like a couple big set pieces early on in the beginning. Um, I dialed a couple settings back a little bit further, and I really hadn't had a problem since then. Uh, the only thing that I've had happen. And I had this happen twice, once while I was recording and once while I was just playing. And weirdly enough, it was after about the same amount of time playing that I had this happen. It, it was this weird, like, freeze-up. Could this really be it? So it eventually, I had to uh, kill the app and then start over, but I did it again later when I was playing, and it, except that time it happened during a cutscene, um, but it recovered. It didn't crash to the desktop or anything like that. Uh, I started digging around online. Uh, people think there's a memory leak issue. Uh, some people very much believe there is a memory leak issue. Um, some people are even going so far as to say that even though it says 6 gigs of RAM, the game requires up to 10 gigs. Um, I think even the recommended specs only say like 8 gigs of RAM. So either way, as far as the RAM goes, I'm fine. But um, unless it is hitting 10 gigs. But I, I don't know. I didn't, uh, I didn't find a definitive answer yesterday or last night while I was looking around. I got tired and went to bed and figured, fuck it, I'll mess around in the morning. But... You know, it's the shame that games like this do come out with these situations, if that is the case, if it's not something exclusive to my particular hardware setup, where PC releases are becoming more uh, unstable, I guess you could say. Um, increasingly, we're seeing issues where games just, for whatever reason, like, okay, I'll give you an example. Um, some games do not just run, they just don't run good on uh, certain hardware configurations, and that could very well be possible what's happening with Tomb Raider here. Um, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag runs like absolute dog shit on my computer, uh, more often than not, whereas I can run Syndicate great, and I can even run Unity better than I can run Black Flag. Now, I can, I can fuck around with different things and usually get Black Flag to run pretty stable, but it still has its hitches. And one of the things that was appealing to me about PC gaming was just the flexibility of options you had. Uh, you could turn different things down to increase your frame rate, or if you didn't care about frame rate, you could just max everything out and play your game at like 30 FPS or whatever, you know. Um, and this is really the first game that's kind of like, that's really pushing my hardware uh, to the point where uh, it's time, I mean, I knew it was time to upgrade, but I was just going to wait till the next uh, GPU cycle as opposed to running out and buying like a 980 tie or something like that, but but I don't want to turn into I don't want this to turn into a rant about uh, PC hardware and developers and stuff like that. The game, what I played of the game so far is very fun. Um, it's a little bit of a slower burn than the 2013 game was. Uh, you don't get thrust right into the action. You have like this slow build uh, mountain climb with Jonah here that you're seeing. And then you have a uh, sequence in Syria where that's basically all tomb raiding. You actually, at least 
not towards the end do you get in any sort of conflict and even then it's more action get the fuck out of the tomb before you can't than it is uh shooting mercs in the head so um <clears throat> i do like that it's got so far a little bit more ex uh, exploration but we'll see where it goes from there i i actually don't know anything about the game i avoided playthroughs and things like that because i didn't want the game to be ruined for me as far as the exploration and all that so i don't know anything about the story or anything really and uh you know, we'll see where it goes from here. So I'm going completely blind into this. I'm not recording anything for, like, a playthrough of the game to upload or anything like that. The, a, a game like this, I like to play on my own at least once through. And maybe down the road, um, I'll play through it again for YouTube or whatnot. Uh, but, I'm, like I said, this is just my own playing and not having to worry about making videos and things like that. Um, which is kind of nice if I'm going to end up having technical issues in the game crashing every 45 minutes or something like that so we'll see if things change you know i'll, I'll put out an update about it and um, if a patch happens to fix any of the issues i'm having or i do happen to figure out what's causing the issues that i'm having i will uh I'll talk about that again but um if you're thinking about getting the pc port of rise of the tomb raider just be prepared you could end up in a situation where you have some crashes and things like that and uh, some unstable performance there's still some sections of the game that uh, I've, I haven't been to yet that uh, no matter what you do have a big impact on the performance people are, uh, people in the forums and the GeForce forums are uh, I guess a big area that, that gets brought up a lot is the geothermal vents uh, really plagues hell on your frame rate so i'll see how that goes when i get there um and then we'll go from there all in all like i said fun game uh the gameplay hiccups that i had that you see a couple in this video um i got that smoothed out so you know we'll see what happens when i get to the geothermal vents or anything like that and uh before i wrap this up though i want to say one thing that uh, if anybody watched my original Tomb Raider 2013 playthrough, which I doubt it, because that was a long time ago. One of the things that really irritated the fuck out of me about that game was during cutscenes, the camera shook all over the place. And they did it again in this game. It's not as bad. But I don't know why these developers think that the camera shaking, like the guy that's holding it is Muhammad Ali. No! Give me a steady camera for cutscenes. I don't need a shaky camera when all they're doing is walking or something simple. It, it's irritating. Stop fucking doing that. Anyways, <laughs> that was my little rant, I guess. All in all, like I said, fun game. Going to keep playing it, see what happens, and I'll keep you guys posted. But until then, I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, have a good one.